Hello and welcome. Today we are going to look at VirtualBox, how we are going to add the guest additions on Ubuntu. For this, I go here to Devices and I go down and you see that you have here Insert Guest Addition CD Image. You can look that here I already have the CD which is mounted. So we'll quickly look what happens when I do that. The pop-up comes and asks me whether I want to install this. Of course, I will just say run. So, of course, since it has to do, I have to give in my password, which is what I've done. And now it's verifying. It says that the CD is fine. You, you see that it says here it's building and they are missing packages. So in order to do that, I will then abort this installation and I will have to add the following packages. For this, I will use the sudo command and then apt, then install. And I will install gcc, I will install make, and I will install Perl as well as as well as the build essential now it's going to to read the the packages whether they are available and as you see they they are so from here i will say yes let's get them installed now it has finished the installation of those packages So with this here I have the script that will run, so I will say here run the software, then I have the pop-up again, which I say of course run, I identify myself. It's now proceeding with the installation of the VirtualBox guest addition. Will it work? That's always the question. A good sign, it's building the VirtualBox guest addition kernel modules. So it means that the Linux kernel is rebuilt. So now we have the VirtualBox additions, which you see the, the kernel modules will be replaced. And now it's starting and press return to close this window, which I do. What is left to me is to reboot the machine. Before to, to start the, the machine, I have to go into its settings. And here into general, I have to go on to advanced and you see share clipboard, drag and drop. So it's here, be directional, drag and drop. And I want also to have it be directional uh, with the shared clipboard that I can copy things uh, from one environment, for example, from the window host into the Ubuntu Linux guest. And there is one thing here down, the shared folder, machine folder, I will add here a folder that uh, I have on my machine and that I use with uh, several different machines to, to share things. You will discover how it's done on my machine. It's called share with virtual box. I have all my virtual machine that can access this share. So I select the folder and I put it as auto mount like that every time I reboot I have it. Say OK. With all that done, it's done. And now I can start the newly configured Ubuntu machine. Now we are going to, to test this. For that I will open the, the writer from uh, Office. And uh, after that, I will try to copy and paste some between some documents I have on the host. So here down, I go to the host. I'm going to take a text from one document on the host, which is here. Select it. This text. Copy it to the clipboard. And now I switch back to the host. And here, I will look if I can paste it in a special way, unformatted text and you see the text was uh, copied directly from the clipboard of course we, we lost the formatting of all the documentation I mean you can copy documentations you can copy text to the clipboard from the host 
and transfer it by a paste to the guest uh, machine. We will now verify if we can access the shared folder. And for this, I use the navigator, which is here. And you see that here down, I have already the SF share with VirtualBox. I will open this and it opens. You might have, nevertheless, uh, a permission refused, saying that you don't have the permission to access the folder. If this is the case for you, you will open your terminal window and add yourself to the group that has the right on this folder. I let you see what is the group. It's in the directory called media. And you see the, the group is here. It's VBox SF. So for that, I will key in the sudo command and add user yourself. It's what the variable dollar $user says to the group VBox SF. So you can simply do that. It will, of course, ask for permissions to do it. And in my case, I was already part of this group, but you can do it for yourself. And this comment is generic. So once you have done that, you can log out and log in. Try it. If it's not enough, like I had it in my case, I had to reboot completely the, the system. There are other ways to, to do that last part, but all what is left now to me is to wish you a good time. You have any question, just feel free to ask. You can subscribe. And for me, it's always a pleasure to share with you those uh, little tricks I can find and that can be helpful. So, have a good time. See you. Bye-bye.